All right, hello. We are back in my food plot uh, that I planted about uh, six weeks ago. And about six weeks ago, I posted a video and I uh, had just planted a food plot behind my house, basically a hidden food plot. Um, I planted it with Eagle soybeans and I wasn't sure how it was gonna, how it was gonna work out. It's the first time I ever planted uh, any soybeans like that. Um, and I cut the field out of um, a, a grove of pines and uh, so I was a little worried they wouldn't get enough sunlight um, and I planted the soybeans really early I planted them in early April and I was supposed to wait until the end of April or beginning of May to plant them uh, I wanted to get a good jump start uh, for the soybeans so that they could grow as big as possible um, to support some of the deer that I have around here. So I went ahead and went with the risk and planted them early. And uh, for a while I was pretty worried because uh, they, they didn't, they, although they came right up, they kind of stalled because uh, for this season, it has really been cold. Uh, a lot colder than normal. Uh, a lot colder than anybody expected, really. Um, so the soybeans didn't get a whole lot of sunlight and they didn't get a whole lot of heat and both of those things uh, slowed down the growth um, but however the soybeans were able to um, you know get a solid footing in the ground and luckily I was able to keep the deer out uh, of the field long enough for the soybeans to grow to um, you know somewhat of maturity uh, so that they wouldn't get uh, you know completely eaten down now the soybeans uh, they have come up I'm proud to say and uh, they are at a height now almost a foot uh, in some places they're at a height where the deer really can't eat them all um, so they're safe uh, I've been really really pleased with the results that I got from the Eagle Seeds soybeans um, so let me just go ahead and, and show you what the field looks like now after, like I said, about six weeks. Alright, here we go. This is the field. And uh, <clears throat> you see it's pretty much green everywhere. And what I did, I didn't plant the soybeans in rows. I broadcast the soybeans. That way I could get as much as possible with the ground that I have so uh, it, it worked out well um, in a lot of places the soybeans kind of uh, clumped up or they grouped up um, but for the most part they spread out pretty much pretty much evenly uh, you can see there there will be a few bare spots like here um, where they're just you know a handful of of plants coming up but then you go and look in other places and they're as thick as they can be so I don't know if it was the water kind of washed the seeds into like a hole or something in some places but um, overall broadcasting worked worked really well so I'm pretty pleased with it and like I said some of the plants are as high as as a foot right now um, these ones in particular um, I don't know it's kind of hard to see exactly how tall they are um, but these ones right here that we're looking at are probably about uh, 18 inches high uh, some of them so they are really taken off and it's it's kind of weird because the the deer will graze in some spots and that it's like to have their favorite favorite spots to graze um, this must not be one of them because they are super tall right here. Um, so every time I come down the field, I like to look at these and see just how well the soybeans are growing. Um, for some reason, the deer like it in the lower part of the field down there. Uh, I guess because the water collects down there, they feel safer where it's lower. Uh, that's my only guess, but they will, they've grazed that part um, quite a bit harder than the... Uh, the part up top which is where we're standing up here but um, the soybeans are, are really doing great I put down 
the right fertilizer. I went through uh, and got my soil test and did everything like I'm supposed to do. And if you do it, uh, you know, it works out. And the soybeans, um, they will do their job for sure. And it, like I said, I didn't give these guys the best chance. Uh, I planted them really early. They survived uh, several freezes. I uh, didn't, didn't kill any of them really. And, and like I said, um, it, it, we really haven't had any sunny weather. Today is you know, one of the first sunny days that we've had this spring. And uh, another thing that, that um, didn't give them a chance is, well, I planted them in the middle of a pine grove, and, and they're not getting full sunlight, to be honest. Um, they're probably getting about a good uh, eight hours, maybe, maybe seven, eight hours. In some places, uh, they only get a couple hours of sunlight, and still the soybeans are doing surprisingly well uh, in, in the shade. But um, overall, you know, didn't really matter where the soybeans were. As long as they got some sunlight, they're coming up. Um, and this spot down here is where the deer are grazing the most. One thing that I'm really surprised at is how fast these plants will push up a leaf once it's been browsed. Um, this is the lower part of the field down here and like I said the deer eat more here than anywhere and you can see it that the plants are a little shorter than they were up on top of the hill and this is the spot they probably graze the most and I've I've watched it and where they graze it'll push up a leaf within a week real easy so this is uh, one of the plants that they've been eating on obviously Th this leaf is, is gone they've just chewed it off um, this is another one if I can get zoomed in on it okay right here so that's how you know they're grazing. I mean, you'll see a bare stem sticking up, uh, and that'll let you know exactly where where they're grazing the most. And for me, it's right here in this little part. And like I said, they'll push up a leaf within a week. Uh, I've seen it uh, some places. It would push up a leaf in about three days after it'd been eaten, three or four days. So it's it's crazy. These soybeans are something else. Um, but I went ahead and uh, just wanted to document how well they're doing and um, I would definitely recommend that you'll seed soybeans and I will post some more videos once I start to get uh, some good trail camera photos in the food plot. I know I've got some big bucks working however right now they don't really have uh, much of a rack just some nubs and uh, you know nothing nothing really to look at but once they start to grow uh, I'll post some more videos all right now